Hi, this is Andrea for Beetaholic, and in this video, I thought we would do something a little different. We're going to do a little science experiment. So I uh, stumbled across this and realized once I got to work that, hey, we carry all of these items, so this would be a fun little uh, experiment to do at work. What you're going to need for this is you're going to need some neodymium magnets, which we sell here. Uh, this comes in a pack of three, and I'm using all three of them stacked together. You're going to need a AA battery. Everybody has one or two of those roaming around their houses, I think. Then you're going to need some solid copper wire. Now this is important, not the copper plated or the uh, copper colored craft wire, the solid copper wire. This is 20 gauge, but it really doesn't matter. You're going to build an armature. And what your armature needs to do is it needs to fit around the magnets, but not snugly. There needs to be a lot of wiggle room. And it needs to come up and end in a point that is roughly the size of the battery between the point and the base. Just a little bit longer. This is just one of the armatures you can build, but um, you can also build a swirl. I'll show you that one in a minute. Now this is called a homopolar motor. And I'm not even going to begin to explain how it works. You can look that up online. I did, and I still don't quite get it. But it's really cool, and it's a fun little experiment to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the positive end of my battery whoop, right on the stack of neodymium magnets. Now a note about these magnets, they are super duper strong, so be careful with them. Always use adult supervision when you are using these magnets and especially when you're building a motor because you are generating power and what you're going to do here is you're going to take your armature you're going to balance it right on top there and you're going to let the magnet and the battery do its thing now this is really cool and really fun um, if the battery is not if the battery and magnet motor is not spinning the wire, there's still electricity being generated, so be very careful. If I was to hold this still and it was making a connection between the magnets and the battery, this wire would get very hot. But other than that, this is just so cool, I think, and so much fun. I also made a swirly armature. And this one, it, it's just going to take some practice to get it right, to get the balance right. It's going slowly, but you want to make a connection between the battery and the magnets. That's the, the key, and the, the copper. There we go. So this will go for quite some time. This is a fun little experiment to do with uh, young ones, like I said, with supervision. Or if you're just like me and you are highly entertained by stuff like this. So once again, neodymium magnets from Beta Hall Leak, solid copper wire from Beta Hall Leak, battery from your junk drawer or your remote control, and you have yourself a simple motor. Thanks.